let's discuss about some adverse effects of SGLT2 inhibitors. Uh, genital urinary infections like vulvovaginal candidiasis, UTIs, Fournier's gangrene which is little bit rare. The other is osmotic diuresis causing volume depletion, symptomatic hypotension, acute kidney injury, metabolic disturbances causing euglycemic diabetic ketoacidosis, orthopedic complications it can cause low fracture, low trauma fracture, uh, the foot ulcers that may increase the amputation risk. Now let's talk in detail about the euglycemic diabetic ketoacidosis. Now the patient usually have acute metabolic acidosis which is usually associated with elevated anion gap usually around 20s or more as well as other symptoms such as abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting and there will be positive urine ketone screen and uh, this collection of the findings usually represents euglycemic diabetic ketoacidosis a potential complication of sodium glucose co-transported to SGLT2 inhibitors the example of this uh, drug is canaflixoxin S SGLT2 inhibitors reduces reabsorption of glucose in kidneys which lowers the blood glucose level also suppresses insulin production and leads to lower insulin by glycagon ratio the u uh, uh, the euglycemic diabetic ketoacidosis in patients taking sglt2 inhibitors can be triggered by prolonged fasting major illness intense exercise excessive alcohol intake or abrupt reduction in concurrent insulin doses these conditions lower insulin by glucagon ratio even more and exacerbate relative insulin deficiency stimulating ketogenesis. In contrast to typical DKA which is associated with very high glucose levels, glucose, uh, the blood, uh, blood glucose in SGLT2 associated uh, euglycemic DKA uh, is usually less than 250 due to increased excretion of glucose in the urine. The management include, includes ex, uh, ag aggressive hydration, discontinuation of the drug and control of the blood glucose with the insulin. Thank you.